Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where today we have a brand new update. Now, a lot of people, myself included, had their eyes on this update because the last few updates, well, they weren't so hot. And so take a look at the update log. We have some very interesting updates indeed. We have the garden update, which it says plant seeds to grow fruits to achieve a significant boost. So we'll try to showcase these later on in the video. Head to the garden between the zones. New limited pets, and it wouldn't be an arm wrestling simulator update without new limited pets. New lucky blocks, new pet inventory refresh, and as always, bug fixes and major balancing. So before we hop into anything, guys, a major news. Well, I'm, I'm kind of trolling, but we <laughs> we kind of have our own pet in the game now. No, uh, this isn't like any way special. Sponsored. I'm getting no Robux, Bobux, anything like that. But yeah, I'm gonna pop up an image of this on screen. The clock duck or the clock chick. I was joking around with Jay last week that if they added a pet, a duck pet in the game that costs Robux, I'd have to buy it. And well, uh, there's a chance that if I get a best friend seven, I'm not even gonna be able to use this bad boy. So we're gonna have to buy the clock chick pet the 8.7 uh million multiplier pet best i mean best friend seven i mean what once again considering they're handing these out left and right for free uh just even right now you could still with the wheel have they updated the christmas event wheel where is it probably not one in five hundred thousand. nope it's still you can probably just get these the christmas uh pets still crazily for free and we'll we'll, we'll touch on the uh event in just a second no oh, we get best friend seven you're trolling dude you're trolling, but it looks so cute, dude. It looks so cute. It's such a sick pet. Oh, do I get another one? Do I? Maybe, maybe later. Maybe later. The, these will be in store for like a week. I'll let you guys decide. Do I keep buying these until we get a best friend? It is 1400 Robux. I don't know. The other pets in here, they're pretty decent. They're pretty good. Best friend eight. But if you just want the enchants again, you can just spin this Christmas wheel, which I do believe this is the last week it'll be in the game. So if you guys. Uh, for some reason, I've been saving up your candy coins. You officially have one week to spin them. One week to... Whoa. What? They took him out. My boy. The Santa merchant. Where did he go? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I kind of have been on our arm wrestling simulator in a few days. So he might have been taken out a few days ago. But where did he go? They took my boy out. Did that mean they also adjusted the price of spins? No, the price of spins is the same, which is in incredible. Because with these 700 spins, I'm probably gonna get myself, if I had to guess, uh, no way, we actually didn't get a glowing reindeer. Huh, interesting. But yeah, the Christmas event, you got one week left, and it's funny because we're well into January. So go burn those coins. Go have a ball. Make sure you've claimed everything on the pass. But okay, okay, on to the juicy bits of the update now this is something i speculated in last week's video that something was going to be changed with the spawn gem and well lo and behold i was actually correct now in the first gym the spawn gym if you walk out of these doors and you're able to escape the school you are no longer going to go to the space gym you can still go to the space gym but you will now enter the garden area so this is kind of the screenshot that was posted in leaked uh, last week. But this right here is the garden. And you're wondering, what the heck is this? Now, let me explain it to you. Now, over here is the crafting area. And I don't know what the heck this is even going to be. Uh, because it's coming soon. We can't craft anything yet. I don't know if it's going to be with pets or if it's going to be with seeds. I don't know what it's going to be with. Now, right here is where you would plant seeds. There are currently six little benches or I guess like planting areas uh, you can plant seeds in. And you're wondering well where are seeds well as you can see it says you don't have any seeds seeds are obtainable by beating bosses now if you want to see where your seeds are you will find this out by opening up your pet inventory and right below the pets on the left hand side of the screen you will be able to see this now you'll also see a brand new item a lot of things are going to be new with the seed update with the snack update and the new rotten apple it gives a pet of your choice 20 xp so we're going to go ahead and tap and what pet actually, let's go find the chick. We're gonna go and level this up or just click it. And then let's see, if we go check this, uh, it is still level one. Okay, uh, now that's a problem because 
if we only have one of these. I don't know how the XP is going to work. If you do notice something, all of my previous snacks disappeared. My green apples, my mushroom, and my godly bones that used to be right here, they're not here. And they are nowhere else. They're, they're not in another menu. They're not in my cogs, not in my items, my pets. They're nowhere to be found. So any snacks you happen to have had before this update, they are completely gone. They're completely erased. And you can no longer use them to level up any pet in your inventory. You can only get pets uh, and pet XP from this new garden system and from these new seeds. Uh, so since we don't have any seeds and since there are a bunch of different uh, boosts and fruits and stuff that we can get, let's go ahead uh, and go to World 7 and see if we can't get some of these new seeds. Now, uh, just for posterity's sake, let's go to teams. Let's put on our winner winner team because why not? And then let's go on uh, auto fight Dr. Propulsion. So I want to see. We got some candy coins. We got some wins. Holy crap. 233 0 wins. That's got to be some sort of new record. That's actually insane. Okay, so we're really not getting anything at all uh, at the moment, which is uh, which is very unfortunate. Oh, wait. Before we go any further, uh, the game did also recently hit one million likes which is actually insane so because of that you will get a new code there's a brand new op code to enter it is one uh i think it's one million is this one million hey it is one million and i'm gonna go and pause it it's 10 percent on all stats it's 3x boost uh on or 3x like training boost for 48 hours and then i think it was some uh some items so yeah, we get two apple seeds and two banana seeds. So I guess now that we have some seeds, I could show you guys how to use it. And so the garden does also get its very own teleportation area over here. And we also do go up to 2.70 strength. With all of this strength, dude, I need to use it on some new bosses, bro. Come on, man. I need some new boss to defeat this game. So when we open up this menu, we can either plant two banana seeds or two apple seeds. Uh, let's go ahead and see. We're gonna go, of course, with the banana seeds over here. Uh, we're gonna go plant some apple seeds. We're gonna go plant the other banana seeds. It doesn't really matter where you plant them, I don't believe. It's not like Minecraft or anything like that. Uh, so for the apple, it takes three minutes to harvest. And for the banana, wait, it's, it's glitch. There's, it says plant the seed. I, I planted the seed. I don't have any seeds. Is it, is that not gonna... Okay, well, that's fun. So the banana takes five minutes to grow. Uh, so, I mean, I'm guessing I can just, like, leave and come back. Um, whoa, wait. What? This is not the space gym. What the? What is happening? Wait, so if I return to the school, it'll spit me out in the... Oh, wait, this is where that... This is where the spaceship goes. Okay, wait, wait. So if we go to the spaceship, and we go to the... This is the second gym, and then if we go... Oh, shoot, did it go... We got sliding doors in this game. Let's go. This, that's pretty sick. It doesn't do anything. Well, it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. But then I guess if we head back to the garden, will we be waiting? Will, uh, will we see our... Uh, okay, so the time does get you ticked out. And our banana is fixed. Uh, or we just had to like leave and, re and it refresh. Um, wait, no. Now this one's glitched. Okay, so it's just a little glitch. That's unfortunate, but uh, we'll be back in a few minutes to check up on these to see what boosts we get because I think there's a total of like five or six different fruits. There's a lot of different fruits, but there's also something else you can get from defeating bosses now, and that is the brand new Lucky Blocks. Now, they didn't really go in depth, and there isn't a whole lot of information out there on these Lucky Blocks, but they have the most OP item in the entire game game now as you guys know i recently was able to get my hands on the brand new angel wing arm this thing has a 3000 percent boost because i was able to get a golden but i'm gonna tell you guys something absolutely insane and that is the fact that the new best arm in the lucky block crates the newly revamped lucky block crates has a 5000 percent max boost yeah you heard me right completely free to play no pay to win just grind and you can be rewarded with a 5,000% arm. Oh my gosh. Now, previously, the way you would get lucky blocks and open lucky blocks is by training. You would train strengths 
in different areas. You'd have to go around, see where the lucky block spawned, and depending on where it spawned, you'd have to stay in that world, train strength in the world, you would open the lucky block, and you could get different things like stat boosts, you could get things, seeds, or I guess some snacks, seeds didn't exist. Uh, and so there's a lot of things you get from it. Honestly, it was really cool when it came out and then it very quickly just became kind of useless because you would never run around to open lucky blocks. It just really wasn't worth it. But now they have changed it to where you can get lucky blocks uh, or the only way actually to get lucky blocks is from defeating bosses. So if we go over here, I've heard it is very, very very rare i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to open one in today's video maybe i could show footage but it is it is basically like i've heard like one every hour like if you afk a boss you get one in an hour so i'm hoping that because they are so rare the odds and the drops in them uh, obviously they're good the arms are really amazing in them i'm hoping some of the other rewards in these lucky blocks are good but they're more like crates uh, so rather than being automatically opened, uh, when you do manage to actually get a lucky block, uh, they will now be in your items. So they won't be in snack seeds, they'll be down here in miscellaneous. So if you do get a lucky block crate, it'll de be down here in miscellaneous. You can click on it, you can open it up just like an egg, just like a pet, and then you'll be rewarded with whatever it is. Yo, wait, someone's got the pets! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, dude, absolute unit. Yo, wait, we got the squad out here. We got the Quacks Block squad out here. No way. <laughs> that's so awesome. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's actually so funny. Oh, it does look like our apple is harvestable, though. So if we just click it, rotten apple harvested. Our banana, wait, we can't harvest it. It is clearly grown. Wait. What? I didn't leave the game or anything. Oh, what? Okay, maybe <laughs> there is some small issues with it. Not entirely sure. I've heard there's some bugs. Maybe this is it. But let's see. The banana at last five minutes and it gives you plus 10% player speed. So, uh, okay. I mean, I already run at the speed of light with my trail. My trail already gives me 170%. So we have 180% speed, absolutely zooming around the map now. Don't think I need any more, uh, but definitely for beginner players, it, it is kind of slow running around the map at times, and so that will be kind of clutch. But I think just a test, I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do a little 10 minute AFK test and see just what we can get uh, from AFK. I, again, I don't think it actually matters what boss you AFK. Uh, I, I think it just any boss has the same drop rates for seeds. I still haven't seen I've, I've defeated this guy like 20 times. I've seen zero seeds. What would really be cool would be uh, a new enchant. If we could get some sort of like luck enchant that doesn't deal with pets, but deals with like seeds or lucky blocks. That would be cool. All right, anyways, I'll see you guys in uh, like 10 minutes. All right, it has been 10 minutes. Let us see our spoils. Uh, oh two banana seeds um well considering uh, for me that's the most useless seed of them all i uh, yeah um that was kind of my fear is like yeah there's these seeds and uh nice we can harvest these now and we can plant these bananas but bananas are very very useless and i'm assuming we probably just can't trade these and still no lucky blocks like i'm just assuming no lucky blocks probably gonna happen also i did want to give an update on the pet opening animation still not fixed or still not here uh i'm not sure if the developers were like yo we just kind of ripped off pet simulator 99 we don't want this uh i don't really see anything wrong with this animation the other one was very 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 reminiscent of uh pet sim 99 uh, and this one, it's fine. It's good. I, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not amazing. Um, could use a refresh. But the other one, you know, very PS99. Uh, but just an update still has not been uh, fixed or adjusted or even talked about by the developers to my knowledge. All right, luckily I'm going to go eat dinner right now. So we're going to go ahead one more time. This time, 30 minute AFK session. Maybe, maybe a slightly, slightly longer session just because... I want to make sure I'm giving this update a fair shot because 10 minutes, not a very long time AFKing. And I'd really love to see one of these lucky blocks. So yeah, catch you guys in about a half an hour this time. After well over 30 minutes, let's see our spoils items. Tw what? 
22 Okay, brother, dude. Yeah, I hate to say it, but what the heck, dude? Now, it's one thing to go ahead and to remove everyone's ability to level up their pets because... Well, you know, they gave us a one-day warning, I think, in the Discord server that they were going to be removing everyone's uh, pet leveling XP stuff. And then the next day, they give us the ability to get new seeds and new XPs and new ways to get uh, snacks. Very cool. I, I don't mind that. But then after 30, 40 minutes of AFKing, the only two types of seeds... Oh, again, I think there's like... I want to say there's like five or six types of seeds... I've only got two types of seeds, and I've got 22 banana seeds. So now I can have 220% speed boost, which really does nothing for this game because the maps are so small and you can just auto train and auto fight and you know, that that kind of kind of defeats the purpose. I don't really need to be boosting this game. It's helpful, but not necessary. Yeah, I, let's just say again, uh, the common theme is balancing. I would have assumed this update because they had two weeks to work on it would have been more balanced, but so far it doesn't seem really balanced at all. Also, we didn't get our hands on any lucky drops, but unbeknownst to me, they actually posted the animation of these lucky blocks in the Discord. So this is what the animation looks like for the lucky blocks. If you're able to find them and open them within the admins menu this is what you're good with honestly i think they've been polishing up the gameplay amazingly all these animations look super super sick but again if i can't get my hands on them what's the point of making them look super sick if i just never get to see this animation in game now i've been showing you guys a bunch of crappy fruit all video long but this is the fruit that i would mention and the title the phoenix fruit it instantly lets you evolve a pet of your choice so basically what that means is if, if you have a baby pet, it will instantly turn that baby pet into a big. And if you have a big, it'll turn it into a huge. But if you have a huge pet, well, then you can instantly turn it into a Goliath for the Goliath machine. And honestly, I think that's pretty OP because rather than needing three pets to upgrade it and evolve it, you just need one fruit. And like this is something I'd be willing to grind for. But again, based off of like the previous drops I was getting, who knows how many bosses I have to defeat in order to get it. And since all my pets are already huge, Huges. Well, I also kind of just don't need any of these fruits. Also, I do want to mention one thing. Uh, most of you probably don't know this or probably don't care, but the cogs and the ticket thing that came out a really long time ago, and I'm talking about like this was maybe September, like three or four months ago. Uh, these pets were never updated. They were released and then just never, ever, ever updated. Um, they're going to be uh, removed, I think, in, in a week or two. So if you want, this is your very last time for you to actually get these pets. Uh, same thing for your tickets. I have 100,000 tickets and I think I have to spin it one at a time. I don't think there's anywhere for me to use my tickets. Uh, they said they're going to be coming up with a better system, hopefully, because this was uh, a lot of potential and then they just never updated it and just was, yeah, kind of, kind of uh, unfortunate. But yeah, uh, again, with, with, with the theme of most of these arm wrestling simulator updates recently, this update and this feature is, is really cool. But for me, I have no use for it because at least with, again, how things sit on update day. And again, I don't know how they're going to balance this in the future. I don't know if there's any more updates. I've heard they might be rebalancing it. I heard there might be another update. But at least with how things sit right now, these seeds are virtually useless to me. Again, because I'm just getting banana seeds and banana seeds are speed boosts. The apples are very useful, but at the higher pet levels, you will literally need tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands to get your pet leveled up. And after 30 minutes, I was able to get a total of three. So that seems like a bit of a problem. And for lucky blocks, same thing. They seem awesome, even though they're really rare, but I don't even know what I can get in them. The arms seem like they're cool, but I don't know how rare the arms are. I don't know what pets I can get. You know, just like the eggs over here, you know exactly what the odds are. You know, in this lava egg, you know, there's a 5% chance for an elephant, a 30% chance for a monkey. And I love that. But then for this new lucky block, the like, hey, you know what? We're not even going to tell you what's in it. We're not going to tell you what's the odds. Just go grind for it. And it takes a really long time and you don't know what's inside of it. So yeah, again, I, I wouldn't say this is a bad update. I just would say this is not a very impactful update. That's everything in the new update. That's my take on it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, because I'm definitely curious what everyone else thinks about Armor Scene Simulator's brand new update. With all that being said, it's been a boy quacks and uh, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.